Fernando Amor Solo A. Cueto. He is the one of the most important artists in the history of painting in the Philippines. Amor Solo is best known for his illuminated landscapes, which often portrayed traditional Filipino costumes, culture, fiestas, and occupations. He is one of the artists in the history of painting in the Philippines. Amor Solo was a portraitist and painter of a rural Philippine landscapes. He is popularly known for his craftsmanship and mastery in the use of lights. Amor Solo's work through the years. His work crossing the river. During this period, Amor Solo developed the use of light, actually backlight, which is his greatest contribution to Philippine painting. Characteristically, an Amor Solo painting contains a glow against which the figure of R outlined. On one point of the canvas, there is generally a burst of light that highlights the smallest detail. One Luna or One Luna de San Pedro I was a Filipino painter, sculptor, and a political activist of the Philippine Revolution during the late 19th century. One of the first recognized Philippine artists born in Badoc, Ilocos Norte, was the third among the seven children of Joaquin Luna de San Pedro in Posadas and Laurenia Novicio e Ancheta. In 1861, Luna family moved to Manila and went to Ateneo Municipal de Manila where he obtained his Bachelor of Arts degree. He excelled in painting and drawing and influenced by his brother Manuel Al Luna who according to Filipino patriot Jose Rizal was a better painter than one himself. Luna enrolled at Escuela Noteca de Manila and became a sailor. This is one of Juan Luna's oil and canvas impressionist painting, prostitute representing fallen womanhood. Luna painted literary and historical scenes, some with underscore of political commentary. His allergical works were inspired with classical balance and often showed figures in theatrical poses. This is a picture of Juan Luna in his Paris studio. In 1883, Luna started the painting demanded of him by the Ayutian Bento. In May 1884, he shipped the large canvas of the Spolarium to Madrid for the Youth Exposition National de Bellas Artists. He was the first recipient of the three gold medals awarded in the exhibition and Luna gained recognition about the connoisseurs and art critics present. This is a picture of Juan Luna oil and canvas currently privately owned. This is another of Juan Luna's paintings, La Mistisa and Sotocador, Mistisa Lady of her dresser.